Hey guys, Delora Davos here. I know that, uh, you know, for day eight we did tarot books of 2019. Um, and my, I looked back at my video to make, to see if it would be redundant or not. And that video was so long and rambly. So if you couldn't get through my day eight video, this is the short and sweet version where I actually limit myself to the books I really, really, really liked. Um, and really, really found helpful. First and foremost, we have Patrick Dunn's Cardamancy with the Lenormand and the Tarot. And yes, it talks about the Lenormand and the Tarot, but it has a lot of really thoughtful and smart things to say about both systems, divination in general. He talks about dousing. He talks about pendulums. Limited, but what he says is golden. Patrick Dunn is an amazing author. Um... And it is absolutely one of my favorite books. Now, this tarot book is amazing for some reasons, and other people might not like it. I will tell you, he doesn't delve into the minors at all. He only talks about the majors, which is great, because no matter what your tarot practice is, whether it's Thoth, Marseille, Rider Waite Smith, Hermetics, that's not Thoth, um, it is a wonderful resource for all systems, because he doesn't even get into the minors. And you can learn a lot about Lenormand in a very kind of straightforward way because Patrick Dunn is nothing if not concise, and I love it. Um, the next one is for those of you who really like the Rider Waite Smith system. And Kim Huggins is just a really, really good writer in general. I feel like this is a, a beautiful staple for anyone in um, interested in tarot at all. You know, I think the Rider Waite Smith. It you there's really you can you can not read Rider Waite Smith and only read Marseille and only read Thoth and never touch Rider Waite Smith. But even so, I feel like she has so many amazing, thoughtful things to say that even if you don't read Rider Waite Smith, which is extremely rare, I think today, but you'll still get something out of it. I think, and I have certainly bookmarked the hell out of it. She's got some really neat spreads in here as well. Um, Next, if you read Thoth, then you have got to have Lon Milo Duquette's Thoth Tarot. I also talked about in my other video the Kabbalistic Tarot by Robert Wang, and of course there is the Book of Thoth by Crawley. I think that before you read any of those, you really ought to read this. Um, it, it does a lot to explain it. And I think that if you have the Thoth Tarot and the Kabbalistic Tarot by Robert Wang, you'll be able to know just everything that you need to know between this book and Robert Wang's book. You'll know everything that you need to know, basically. Um, and you can always delve forward from there. Beautiful. I love Lon Milo Duquette for that now. Next, we have um, The Untold Tarot by Caitlin Matthews. I love this for Marseille. I think it's absolutely an amazing, amazing resource. However... Caitlin Matthews is extremely rude and toxic about the other systems. She's She makes these really, really horrible kind of one-line statements throughout the book. Um, and it just randomly comes and slaps you across the face like... Um, She also does this horrible thing, like right on page 34, she creates false outrage. Let me just read it to you. Some people may see the jettisoning of esoteric methods of reading as a betrayal of original methods. In quotations. And spurn common sense reading methods as being too literal. I have never heard anyone complain about a tarot reading being too literal. In fact, a lot of people are moving towards the Marseille and using more um, of these kinds of methods of reading because they want it to be more literal. And you can read all three systems if you want to. You can read tarot all three ways if you really want to. And you can read about it. And, and there's not this my side, your side, their side just because there's three different ways of doing something. And she says... Um, when someone comes for a reading, they don't want to know about the movements of planets or where on the tree of life they are currently located, but rather about how their holiday plans are going to work out. 
that's not how esoteric people read tarot. I still give them practical contextual information. I, I can give a reading with a Thoth deck and never mention the fucking Kabbalah or the word, or, or say the word Thoth at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's very ignorant on her part, and it does come and slap you in the face. But I think that it also says a lot about how amazing this book is that I feel that way about her just coming whacking you in the face with her big Marseille dick and I still like the book. It says a lot about the research that she put into it and the information that she has. But she really did ruin her own book with that bullshit. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know about that one. Now, my last and final book is actually a book I have not read yet, but Patrick Dunn in his book uh, recommends it, and if you are interested in tarot magic, this is Ceremonial Magic Using Golden Dawn Correspondences. So this is, this is tarot magic as was, you know, taught and done by the Golden Dawn. So this very Golden Dawn specific tarot magic which I think is going to be an interesting read, and I will surely do a uh, book review on it and tell you guys what I think about it um, when I actually get around to reading it, but I'm very much um, looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it for a long time, uh, and I finally found the book somewhere, so. Kind of a bit of a cheat that I haven't read this one yet, but if I had to pick five tarot books that I could not go anywhere without, it would be these five. So, until tomorrow, happy dabbling and bye bye